good evening and welcome to another edition of Be Dad's Beauty Views. I'm going to continue with the um, little beer festival beers and I'm going to do another one of the 71 Brew Co and that's the Left Coast, which is a West Coast IPA. I weighed it at 5.4%, it says so there. Part of the Blueprint series, it says so there. Um, best before the 13th of July 21, because it says so there. This is in the back here, classic American hops. Uh, are married to a rich uh, malt backbone. Deep golden in colour and flavoured with citrus, pine and tropical fruit and a bold West Coast bitterness to finish. Now I like a West Coast IPA. I really do. Um, it says it's unfiltered, unpasteurised and suitable for vegans. And these guys are out of uh, Dundee. Uh, yeah, I like a West Coast IPA. It's probably, if I'm being honest with you, it probably is my favourite style of beer. Um, that and double IPAs. And imperial stouts and stouts and porters and but yeah I do I do I enjoy I enjoy your West Coast. Anyway, let's get in the glass to see what we've got going on. Okay. Another card. So beer in a glass then. What have we got? We've got ourselves a light Copper coloured, yeah, copper coloured beer, light like copper coloured. Um, very hazy, I say very hazy, definitely hazy. A little bit of carbonation, just clinging to the glass as you can see there. Um, we've got a finger of slightly just off white, rocky head, rocky bubbled head. It looks quite nice, that looks fairly, fairly decent. Let's get a nose and let's see what we can smell, let's go for it. I'm getting orange and citrus fruit. Not much else. Marmalady. Lemon as well. It's a hint of it's a little hint of pine, but there's not a big suggestion of it. Let's go anyway for the body and carbonation. Cheers. Light bodied, light soft carbonation. Yeah, let's go for the big taste. Cheers. That's orange and lemons and nothing else. And it's really watery, light flavoured orange and lemons. Um, is it a little bit of a dry finish on the back end but other than that there's not much more to it the orange is more of a satsuma clementine type small orange fruit and there's a little bit of lemon comes through as well again it's another one that's like it's drinking like it's a an orange and lemon, or orange and lime, or lemon and lime. Cordial, watered down cordial, and then it just leaves a little, a little hint of a dry finish on the back end. There's also something in, something else that's going on there. And I, I, I watched. Um, Bullman's beer reviews um, before I did this review um, and he says it tastes like jelly like an orange and uh, lemon jelly and he's not wrong it had there is that um, it's not aspect gelatin kind of thing to it yeah he's not wrong it's war it's it's light flavoured. It is. I, I think it's more sort of Satsuma Clementine than it is orange, but it's definitely got a bit of lemon in it. And it there is a hint of jelly in it. I, he, he's absolutely spot on. 
for me that's not a west coast ipa there's no pine to it it says it's pine there's no pine to it for me um there's no grapefruit in it that i can pick up i um, it's not great it's not great at all i don't like that no that's not for me very disappointed very disappointed indeed so excuse me uh, 71 brewing cow left coast excuse me west coast ipa 5.4 do I like it? No. Would I buy it again? No. Would I recommend it to friends? No. This has been, oh, this is my fourth one of the series. And this is probably the one that I'd le like the least. I'm really disappointed in this beer. So if you've had this, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. Um, I'll put a link to the 71 Brew Co. also below. Thumbs up for the video. Thumbs down if you don't. Subscribe down there. Uh, if you get to Lidl, pick them up. Give this one a go. Just to, just to, just to see what you think of it. Because I could be wrong. And often I am. This goes into the recycle. We'll be getting that again. See you in the next one. Hail Yale.